I was created to be the world's most advanced and most beautiful, fully autonomous android. Japan just delivered fully performing female robots. The so called robot capital of the world, that is, Japan, never fails to impress us with their constant progress and advancements in the field of robotics. Let's take a look at the latest happenings in the Japanese robot sphere. Japanese launch of ramen robot. In the middle of Japan's busiest train station, Yokai Express debuted its third ramen robot in Japan in three weeks. The new Tokyo Station robot joins other Yokai Express machines installed at Haneda Airport and the Shibara parking area. If you think the unveiling of a new food robot might slip under the radar in this ramen obsessed country, you'd be wrong. At a press conference held by Yokai to unveil their latest robot and discuss their entry into Japan, over 70 members of the Japanese media showed up. The result was at least a dozen articles and news reports across broadcast and print. The interest in yokai is understandable. After all, Japan is well recognized as a mecca for vending machines, and here's a new robot that makes the country's favorite food in 90 seconds. In a few years, it wouldn't be surprising to see yokai machines sprinkled around Tokyo and other Japanese cities to serve up hot bowls to those too busy to sit down in a local slurp shop. While some ramen shop operators might be upset by the entry of a ramen-making robot, others see it as an exciting new opportunity, including the founder of the most popular ramen joint in Japan, Ipudo. A vending machine cooks hot ramen on the spot, said Shigemi Kawahara, president and founder of Ipudo. It's exciting, isn't it? East Japan Supermarket Introduces Robot Delivery a robot began to deliver items from a supermarket to customers' homes in this eastern Japan city for a limited period starting on May 28 to save manpower costs. The automated delivery service was jointly launched by Rakuten Group Inc., Panasonic Holdings Corp., and Seiyuko, and this is the second such initiative following one in the city of Yokosuka, Kanagawa Prefecture. The delivery area covers some 1,000 households, including in apartment complexes and detached houses within a radius of about 850 meters from Seiyu Supermarket's Tsukuba Takezono branch, and the robot delivers items in as fast as 30 minutes after an order is placed. The service is available on Saturdays only until July 30. After a customer places an order through Rakuten's special website for smartphones for goods from among more than 2,000 items on sale at the Seiyu supermarket, the robot made by Panasonic delivers them. When the robot approaches the customer's home, it sends a notification text to their smartphone. The customer can then take the items out of the robot after entering a code. A handling fee of 110 yen, or about 80 cents, is charged to the customer. The robot moves at a speed of up to 4 km per hour and stops when a sensor detects an obstacle. Additional safety measures include a security worker monitoring the machine. In a demonstration conducted on May 26, the robot arrived at a customer's home 15 minutes after leaving the store. Naoko Fujisawa, 44, received items including cat food and meat she purchased and commented, The operation was easy. I want to use the service again in the future. Mini Lunar Exploration Robot This mini, hand-sized sphere is not your ordinary toy. It's an exploration robot called Sora Q that was jointly developed by major Japanese toy maker Tomi and the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency to send to the moon. The robot, measuring only 250 grams and 8 centimeters in diameter, has two wheels at the side which can move on powdery sand and has two cameras, in the front and rear, that can take pictures and transmit images back to Earth. It's also made from a special type of aluminum and plastic that can withstand the harsh temperature difference on the moon, which, according to JAXA, can go anywhere between negative 170 degrees to 110 degrees Celsius. Tomi Company employee and SoraQ developer Kenta Hashiba said their experience and techniques to produce children's toys helped in the creation of this robot. It transforms from a sphere to another shape. Also, it is very small and light in size. The techniques to make smaller toys, simple crafted toys, and the techniques for a toy to move are all implemented, he said. He added that he would be happy if children were to develop interest in space by watching the robot go up into space. Lifelike Child Robot Helps Train Dentists A child-sized doll screams and rolls its eyes while lying on a table as engineer Hiroki Takimoto looks on calmly. But instead of being a child's toy, the doll is a humanoid robot that can mimic critical medical symptoms designed to train dental workers. 
Co-developed by Japanese robotics startup Timsuk and a local dental school, the robot, named the Pedioroid, was designed to simulate a child's response when receiving dental treatment, including changes to its medical condition. Using a tablet programmed with different medical conditions, the user is able to send signals to air cylinders installed within the robot's joints to move its entire body, mouth, and tongue to display physical reactions and facial expressions. More importantly, the robot is able to simulate signs of it undergoing medical emergencies, such as convulsion and heart failure, allowing trainees to gain experience in knowing how to handle similar critical situations, a Timsuk engineer said. Director of Timsuk's engineering division, Yusuke Ishii, said the robot was developed due to the lack of clinical dental training to treat children. It is difficult to get experience in pediatric dentistry because there are no opportunities to practice. In addition, there is the risk that children will move wildly because, with children, when their medical condition suddenly worsens, it's hard for them to express that situation. So, it is necessary to have the experience and knowledge to monitor and treat the patients, Ishii told Routers. Currently, at a hefty price tag of about 25 million Japanese yen, or $195,000, Tim Sook hopes to develop the hyper-realistic robot further, such that people from other childcare industries, such as pediatricians and elementary school teachers, would be able to use it for other emergency situation training. A Robot Librarian Stock taking of books at a municipal library in Japan is now fully automated under a trial experiment that potentially could see humans removed from the process altogether. A robot assigned to locate books by reading data stored in integrated circuit tags on each tome can finish the task in a matter of several tens of minutes, whereas it takes a full day for library staff to take stock of books by relying on barcodes, authorities of this northeastern city said during a recent open demonstration test. The robot read the data with 99.5% accuracy, officials said, adding that the technology will be further tweaked with the goal of practical application in the future. The test was conducted in early March, in line with an agreement among four parties, including the city government, a robot manufacturer, and a systems development company. The trial was intended to help explore the potential for reducing the workload of employees and providing new services to users. The test at Omonogawa Library, where IC tags were applied beforehand, involved 20,000 books. During the experiment, the robot was seen swiveling its antenna portion as it whisked through passages between bookshelves at a speed of 15 centimeters per second, or 0.54 kilometers per hour, reading data contained in IC tags on nearby books. The ratio of successful data reading is expected to improve further from the current 99.5% if the metal bookends on the shelves are replaced or if the bookshelves are separated farther away from walls. City authorities are weighing plans to introduce IC tags and possibly also use a robot at Shin Yokote Library, which they plan to open in fiscal 2024. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.